Hi, guess what? Now is the time for you to start your new life, as is every single day, a new day to start your new life. But especially now, after this whole pandemic, even though things are still going on, we don't have all of our freedoms back and we still, uh, lots of businesses are not able to open, but we're getting there. And we've just had all this downtime, or at least most of us have, to kind of reevaluate what you want in your life. And so that's why this video is about starting your new life. Because it will never be the same as it was before, but it can be way better. <laughs> you don't already know me, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm a spiritual awakening coach and an energy healing healer. <laughs> Sorry, I do energy healing. I combine the two, coaching and healing, um, to help you to just, you know, release all that baggage, all those old stories, all those things that contributed to how your life used to be, right? We want to now start creating a whole new life manifesting new possibilities, actualizing them, right, in our lives, actually really having the change and creating change that we would love. So my website is lovemylife.coach and this is what I'm all about. So really, you know, there's this massive awakening happening and more and more and more people are waking up and Unfortunately, sometimes it takes things like this pandemic or racial violence or any number of other tragedies that can happen, you know, um, tsunamis or you name it. It has you kind of look at life in a whole different way. And maybe when there's so much going on like it's been going on for us since the whole beginning of this year um maybe now it's like all of that stuff you like it almost compels you to look inside right that's what this whole downtime has been it's really been about you getting back to you and what do you desire and what do you want like maybe you don't want to reopen the business you had before maybe you'd much rather be doing something else it, it makes you think, like when you see all this stuff going on in the world, about just wanting to be happy, just loving your neighbors, your friends, your family, right? Strangers on the street, helping people out, you know, offering that help for no other reason than just to help because it lights you up and you have this heart-to-heart -heart connection with whoever, whatever it is that you're helping out there, right? It's all about raising the vibration of the planet of us living on the planet because the earth is changing rapidly, right? It's changing. And it's like, we either have to get with the program or not. And by not means not evolving into who it is that you actually are, who you actually came here to this life to be. So anyone who maybe didn't know what that was before um, or thought they knew what that was before, might be suddenly getting messages without even knowing you're picking up on messages because we're also becoming very telepathic. I mean, it's so funny in this past, even this past week, there have been so many times where me and my husband say the same thing at the same time, or he says something that I was just about to say, or I said something he was just about to say, or I'm texting a client, or I'm thinking, okay, as soon as I get finish this thing, I have to text that person. And that person texts me instead, right? It, this is so much of this is happening. Like we're really tuning into those things that are um, a part of our own energy field and what's going on in our lives, right? Uh, so note, take notice of that for yourself. It's not a coincidence. It, it's, it, it is synchronicity, like things happening at the right time and you becoming more and more aware of what those things are. So with this greater awareness that is coming to you and that you eventually will acknowledge, even if you don't right now, you won't be able to not acknowledge it because with all these pl planetary changes that are happening, we are going to become more and more telepathic and that's already showing up. And what I love about this too is it's really waking people up. Right? It is a massive spiritual awakening. Um, 
which is great because it puts you in the, into the question and it allows you to wonder and to get into that magical childlike mind of yours as to how things could be like what would i prefer okay so this happened where do i go next you know, either just ask the universe, okay, what's next for me? How does this whole craziness that's going on in the world, how does that support me and benefit me and lead me to what it is I'm here to do? I know for me, I've already been doing what I love doing, but now I feel it even in a greater sense. It's like with all this stuff going on, it's like, wow, you know, I got to help as many people as I can help to, to have them see their own truth. Now, okay, even though I do this work and I know my truth, I don't always live it. <laughs> There's times when, I mean, even yesterday, I was just so sunken into this cr stupid energy that I could easily snap myself out of, and I did, but not immediately, because I was more wanting to be brooding about, um, for me particularly, uh, it had to do with losing weight, <laughs> right? anything could trigger you. Now, I've already lost eight pounds in like the last week and a half because I'm doing this bone broth diet. Um, but, the, you know, anyway, some, whatever was triggering was coming up and I got into that junky energy of it's so hard. <laughs> you know? Really, it isn't. It's all a matter of choosing the easy way. The, what, what works for me and lining up with that, right? Not having to, once again, give your power away to the voices out there that say, no, this is how you need to do it. You always got to tune back in and say, okay, well, what, what feels right for me? Okay, body. You know, talk to your body. Body, what feels right for you? If I don't eat this and I eat that, blah, 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 whatever, you know? And then I just found, I found my way, right? And then I could almost even just laugh at myself for being so sunken in but the cool thing is that as you are awakening and expanding your consciousness you see it when it's happening rather than seeing it a day later or you know and not doing anything about it and having it kind of fester there and and build into something it isn't because that reactive mind that subconscious mind will take over and make stories out of nothing right so um where was i going with this whole video yeah so it is the time is now to change your life, to choose what you want next, you know? Maybe some of the things that have been going on have showed you that what you were doing, you can do in a way that actually allows you to have more time to yourself, right? Because here we probably had more time to yourself during this whole lockdown. Um, and maybe you found different ways of running your business if you were able to still keep your business going in some way. Um, and then you realize, oh, well, what can, how can I expand on that, right? You tell the universe, oh, you know, I really like what's going on here because I enjoy having more time to myself. How can I do what I was doing before only better and love it even more? And if you really hated what you were doing, wow, then this is a perfect time to be like, you know what? I I'm, I'm going to do something else because maybe that's the big knock on the head that you're getting is to point you, you were going off track to point you to what it is that lights you. Because always what's for your highest good, what, what's, on, what's on your purpose is what resonates with your heart. It is what lights you up. It is what makes you feel good. And when even doing that job that you enjoy so much, but you're finding that there's parts of it you just don't like anymore. Okay, how can we do this job and change those aspects of it that weren't working to something that I would enjoy doing that could actually take me further, right? I mean, it's all about asking questions. It's an access consciousness thing that I, I, I'm I, so hooked on access consciousness. I'm taking their foundation course um, this week and I can't wait because I'm sure I'm gonna have so much inspiration for things I can share with you that you can be doing within your life to make things easier for yourself. Um, I'm going to learn a whole bunch more of that, which I'll be really excited for. So, you know, there's always a way. If, if, if you have the desire for something, if, you, if you've always wanted to do something that you didn't allow yourself to do, well, now's the time. Ask questions. How can this happen? How can I make this change in an easy way with like ease, peace, joy? Sometimes people think that making change 
is going to require all kinds of sacrifices and uh, all this. Really, that's how we used to think of it, right? Like, oh, if I do that, then this is going to happen. That, you, know, you look at all the negatives. Okay, shh, wipe that clean. No longer look at all the negatives. Look for the positives. Okay, so what good things could be attached to this? In what ways can I fuel this project or this job with new energy, with inspiration? And then just ask the universe for inspiration on how to do this. I got this idea. I've got this dream. I've got this desire. How can I get this done? Just be in the question because when you're in the question and you can formulate any questions you want, as long as they're a question that leads to what you want, um, not to the opposite of what you want. And you'll feel it by the way the question feels in your body, right? If it feels like inspiration, like, oh, wow, maybe there's a possibility here. Yeah, maybe I can just ask the universe and somehow the universe will arrange things to line up so that, boom, my solution comes in. Or even just by being in the question and not in the mind trying to figure it out. I mean, that really... Unless you're in your mind while inspired, because then all the good the good information's coming in, and you're just whoa, you're writing up all these things that are are like that's inspiration. Okay, that's using the mind for good. But when you start using it, looking at all the fears and the worries and the doubts and the what ifs, this can go wrong. What if this goes wrong? What if this goes wrong? No. We want to, what if this goes right? What if I did this and this happened? What if I did this and this happened? Feel the energy of the two. One is very high, one is very low. So you now, more than ever, because there is this awakening going on, are like a, a tuning fork to know what's for your highest good. So it's true if it feels light and it's a lie if it feels heavy. So when you start asking the, when you start asking the questions in a negative way, or having those thoughts come in your mind about, oh my God, if I do this, I'll, I'll lose my house. If I do this, I won't be able to buy food. If I do this, that person's gonna hate me. If I do that, you know, whatever it is, right? How does that feel? No. On the other hand, what if it's, wow, if I did this, what if it created a better life for me? What if I had more joy and peace in my life? What if I had more people come to me who want to learn how I did what I did? What if I was able to help more people just by tweaking this little bit of my business here? What if I had all these people that want to join me and we can build this bigger, th you know what I mean? What if good, not what if bad? Think of it this way. What if high energy or what if low energy? Which one do you want to do, right? So start asking questions. Ask them you know, really just from your heart and then just breathe. That's what I'm being reminded of right now. Slow down. You're talking so fast. Just breathe. And what if we were grateful just for the fact that we are breathing and because we are breathing, that's inspiration. That's the, that's spirit. That's us which is connected to everything beyond race, religion, all of that stuff that people want to fight about. No, we are all one. And you know how you know that? Because when you come in contact with someone of, who knows, a religion or a philosophy or um, like, I'll meet people who don't believe anything about what I do and say, but I can still have a heart to heart connection with them and just love them even though they don't get me. They may like me, but they don't get me. So what? <laughs> you feel that. And so maybe there's, and there are, there's a lot of people I don't agree with, or in my interest and points of view are not the same as theirs. I don't fault them. Because if you get in an actual conversation with them and you make that connection and your heart opens and you just feel admiration or just um, a kinship, you're like, ah, Oh yeah, it doesn't matter that you're this or that you're that or that people say this. Or, no, it's what you trust in your own heart, okay? Trust your heart. Allow that to connect you to your higher knowing, your higher self, your guides, your angels. That's your team. You always have guides and angels around you. And if you don't know it, ask them for signs. Just ask for signs. You'll know it when you see it. And you'll be like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe that was one of my guides doing that for me.
right? Sending me whatever, that butterfly or, or you know. Uh, sometimes all of a sudden the sun shines at the perfect time. You ever notice that? Like sometimes when I'm in healing sessions with people, I have a lot of windows around here and I'm doing something with somebody and I'm really hitting on something, everything gets bright. It's like the universe was in sync with what was going on right now with me and that person. And this, there's magic all around you. Just look for it. So once again, the time is now to start your new life. What do you want your new life to be? You know, when you get ideas, talk them into your phone. Like, get the good ideas out. Write them on a piece of paper, you know. Um, put it on a wall somewhere so that you get reminded, oh, I had this really good idea. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it, but wow, look, it's nice to look at that and to see, oh, yeah, I had that inspiration. Maybe I could do that. Universe, can I do this? Hmm. Not the mind. Because you don't want to pull up all those old patterns, programs, even through your ancestral lines, into your past lives. I mean, we don't want to pull that stuff up. We want to clear that stuff out. And that's what energy clear, energy healing does. It clears out this heavy energy. It's basically, it's heavy. Because when you have healing sessions, and when, I have, when I'm in a healing session, someone doing a healing session for me, you can just feel how much lighter you are after whatever the processes were that you were running, you just feel lighter. You just feel lighter. Anyone I've ever worked with, hundreds of people, always leave feeling lighter. It's not a coincidence. It's because we're releasing that darker, heavier energy. So, I don't know, I'm rambling on. The point of this all is, the time is now to start your new life. There's no better time than right now because whether you're aware of it or not, um, I'm only aware of parts of it. I mean, it's much bigger than I even know yet. The changes that are taking place, everything's changing. Everything's gonna be different. Everything, everything. <laughs> It'll be fun to do some videos down the road about some big, huge changes that happen and be like, wow, yes. This is real, this is happening. So, I don't know. I hope this video, something I said, sparked something within you that made you feel lighter. And um, yeah, so let, let's do this. Anything that's preventing you from feeling free and inspired and confident about changing your life, Let's just uncreate and destroy all of that. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah. Any vows, oaths, decisions you've ever made that would prevent you from starting your new life? Any energy ties that connect you, that these cords to past experience when, say, you've tried something new and it didn't work? Let's cut those. Oh, look here. We'll take the selenite wand, right? Let's just cut those. Slash them all. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. All gone. <laughs> I know I feel better. So I hope you do too. And I'll see you on another video. I'd love you to, of course, subscribe, like, share, and comment below. I love to see your comments. And so I'll see you again. Bye.